Hey guys, Tina here. Today I'm doing a non-spoiler read review of The Magician's Trilogy by Leif Grossman. This trilogy consists of The Magicians, which is book one, uh, The Magician King, book two in the trilogy, and Magician's Land, which is the final third book in the trilogy. So The Magician's Trilogy tells the story of Quentin, who is a regular guy living in New York. Uh, he's about to go to university, but instead he's taken to break bills, which is a magical school. And while he's there, he's tested, uh, you know, so they can see whether or not he's an actual magician. And as it turns out, he is a magician, which is, you know, great. He's really happy about that, uh, because, you know, as, as it was, you know, he's uh, a young a man who does not really know what to do with his life and he kind of feels that magic will solve that problem. Now aside from that, Quentin is also um, a fan of a book series about a land, a magical land called Fillory. Uh, Fillory is sort of like our Narnia. Now, you know, as much as he would like to believe that that land is uh, real and that, you know, it exists, uh, he does not think that that, that is actually true, uh, which, you know, um, kind of surprise him when he learns that it actually is real. So for other books we basically follow him and his friends uh, as they um, deal with problems, grow up and you know things like that. I would call this series a uh, realistic urban fantasy which I know does not really fit together uh, but it does kind of mix all of these elements together. The urban part is obviously our reality, the fantastical one is Fillory and the realistic part is the fact that this series does not gloss over the realities of life. Um, as you know, there, there is magic, but these characters still have to solve all their problems the old-fashioned way, which is like we do here. Uh, magic does not solve those problems. In fact, sometimes it, it probably even complicates them a bit. Uh, there's also the fact that these books do not gloss over uh, things like uh, sex, uh, cursing, drinking, smoking, and things like that. Uh, there's a bit of that in there, even some more uh, gruesome things than that. So in case you are sensitive to those kind of things, uh, be aware of them. Characters uh, in this book are really unlikable. You know, in book one, I don't think I liked any of them at all. Uh, they have uh, really various backgrounds and a lot of family issues, uh, anger issues, um, just, you know, figuring out who they are, what they want to do what magic means to them and things like that and they have a lot of growing up to do which you do get to see throughout the series uh, Grossman does that really well. Now uh, there's another character that I would actually classify as a character even though it's uh, actually a land and that is Fillory. Uh, throughout these books we get to learn a lot about Fillory and we get to see it change and given that it's such a vital part of the story uh, I would actually classify it as a character. The world building is great in this book. Grossman really outdid himself, especially when he it comes to Fillory. Uh, the descriptions of Fillory are just perfect. There's, he put so much imagination into that land that it's it's it just blew me away. There's castles that you know have spires that turn around. There are you know trains that go on uh, sea like sea serpents, islands that move. Uh, marshes that, you know, uh, have flip sides and it's just amazing. Really, I enjoyed it very much. The magic system is very complex. It involves a lot of hand gesture as well as uh, languages. And it's interesting to read about, but I think it's actually a magic system that would be pretty hard to learn as a magician um, if, you know, it was real. And it was really enjoyable watching them uh, create magic. It was a very fascinating process. The writing style is pretty descriptive and slow paced. Uh, Grossman has a very vivid imagination as I already mentioned. He comes up with the craziest descriptions and metaphors uh, and in that regard he actually reminds me of Maggie Stiefvater and her Raven Cycle. Not that the two are in any way similar but you know just the writing style, just the writing style sort of reminded me uh, of that. Um, although hers is a bit more flowy I would say. The pace in these books is pretty slow, even when there's actual action, it's pretty slow. Uh, you know, with the beginning of each book I had a hard time getting into the book, but once the story pulled me in, I actually threw through these books, uh, so be aware of that. So the books can be pretty sarcastic at points and kind of make fun of themselves. Uh, the characters are really well read, which is why you get a lot of references to our fantasy books such as Harry Potter, The Lord of the Rings and such, which is always fun, you know, when you uh, see some of that in the book. 
Now Grossman did a lot of poor shadowing and throughout the series you see him pull those threads together and at the end there are a few loose ends but the major plot points are all worked out so which is also very satisfying. There's also a TV show based on this series and if you decide to watch it and you haven't read all of the books be aware of the fact that season one is not solely based on book one but it's a mixture of book one and two so you might get spoiled you know uh, if you haven't read the series uh, just be aware of that if you decide to watch it. Anyways this is all for this short review I hope you enjoyed it and that it encouraged you to pick this series up it's not a series that blew me away but it's a really one that I enjoyed and I definitely recommend it uh, so hopefully you will pick it up and read it and enjoy it uh, but yes thank you for watching and see you in my next video bye